guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to show you how to make something kind of interesting and a little off the wall that um, I've never personally seen anywhere. But what we're going to show you how to make is a essentially a place to display your morale patches. Um, if you're like me, you've amassed a very large collection and your Millspec Monkey patch panel book is probably overflowing like mine is. Um, and also, around here at ITS, we get patches on a regular basis. Uh, places uh, are always sending us patches, like good buddy Eric from the sheriff's office there in Florida. And sometimes they're not Velcro backs. Sometimes they're just the iron-on kind, or sometimes they're, they don't have any kind of adhesive whatsoever. And we're going to be showing you how to make something that's not only going to display your Velcro back morale patches, like all the stuff we sell at ITS, like our little mini PVC patches, but it will also be able to um, display these kind of patches that don't have any Velcro on it. So kind of what I came up with is using corkboard, and as you can see over here, I've got a bunch of corkboard sheets that I've cut down, and what I've done is I have a frame that um, I kind of pulled out from something I just had laying around, and the frame had a, a backing plate on it. Um, this board that you can see under the uh, the Velcro fabric, and I'll get into the fabric in a second. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these cork board panels and I'm going to glue them with the high tack spray adhesive to this piece of, uh, I guess it's cardboard basically, is essentially what it is. Um, I'm going to spray mount it to the cardboard and then on top of the um, the cork board, I'm going to spray down this Veltex fabric. And Veltex, Veltex fabric is basically a display loop fabric. Um, it's made by Velcro, so it is real Velcro fabric, fabric but um, basically it's not like your hook and loop that you buy all the time. Um, like this is the standard loop right here on the, uh, the patch book. But it's, uh, it's kind of smaller. It's let me show you up close here. Um, you can see it riding on top of this cork board. And what I did is I made a couple of samples here um, just to make sure that that spray adhesive wasn't going to show through on the Veltex stuff. And basically I've got two different versions here. One, you can kind of see in the highlights there, it's got these mashed down areas. Well, I actually took my hand and squeezed down on that stuff and before it dried, and it left those impressions. And this is just laid over it. Um, as it dried on top of the cork board and you can see the difference and that's what I'll show you and that's what I'm going to do is just spray it down with the spray adhesive and then just lay it down on top of there. And so you can see the straight pins I have sticking in here so that's what it's going to enable you to do. You can take some straight pins and take your patches that aren't necessarily Velcro backed and just pin them to this thing to hold them up there rather than um, sticking them down with Velcro. So essentially that's what we're going to make. Um, the frame that I have is about 42 by 32, I think. It's kind of an odd frame, but uh, it was kind of a custom one-off frame that I found somewhere. I think uh, an old place I worked gave it to me. But at any rate, we're going to be showing you the steps to, to go into that. Um, you're going to need a couple of things. I used some scissors. I used a, um, a box cutter to cut down the Veltex fabric, and as well as the cork board. The cork board actually cuts very easily. I think I have a piece here that... Can show you with that, but uh, these are um, 12 by 12 cork panels. You can get those at any kind of office supply store. But all you really need to do is score the cork board a couple of times with that box cutter, and it just snaps and breaks right off, and you get your pieces cut. So instead of showing that um, being done, I've already got my pieces cut that are over there. So what I'm going to do is the first thing is going to be to lay them on this cardboard. We'll spray mount them to that, and once we have those spray mounted and it dries, we'll uh, glue on our Veltex fabric and then put the thing in the frame and have ourselves a, uh, a display panel for our morale patches. So we'll be right back. I'll get another view going, and uh, we'll get this thing started. Okay, we're back, and I have now sprayed that Super... I forget the name of that. Super 76 is the high-tech spray adhesive that I put on there. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to piece on those corkboard pieces and uh, show that real quick. I kind of numbered these 
so it would help me out. But essentially what I'm going to do is just lay these on top of here. And the spray adhesive, the way this works is you don't have to overdo it with it at all. Um, if you let it dry just a little bit before you start sticking things down, it gets a lot tackier. So it's better if you wait maybe a minute or two afterwards. I think that's what the instructions say. Obviously, I did not read the instructions, but I've used this stuff quite a few times, and I remember if you let it sit for a little bit, it'll get tackier, and you'll be able to stick stuff down. So instead of wasting your time, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to lay these panels down, and then we'll spray the top of the cork down, and we'll put that Veltex down. Be right back. Okay, we're back, and I've now got that spray tack adhesive down on the cork board, and we're going to lay down our Veltex fabric. So I've got it rolled up here. I thought that would be kind of the best way to put it down, just so I make sure that I get it down right. The good thing about this uh, high tack adhesive is too, is that as soon as you put it down, it's not like it's stuck permanently, which is nice. Um, definitely like that feature of that adhesive. Now I purposely cut it a little smaller than the cork board um, based on the kind of frame I have. I am going to shift it down just a little bit though. Um, just because the frame itself will cover the edge. I wanted to make sure that I didn't go over it all. So basically this is the last step to this um, before we put it into our frame and hang it up on the wall. And again, I'm not going to press down very hard at all on this. I'm going to let the adhesive just kind of dry to the Veltex. Um, because as you could see before in that little demonstration piece I had, if you start pressing down you'll get some nasty features that pop up from that. And want this to look nice. So there we go. That's pretty much all there is to it. All that's left to do is just uh, make sure our edges are down and give this thing a little time to dry. And we'll pop it in our frame and we'll have ourselves a place to hang and wear out patches. We'll be back when this dries. Okay guys, we're back and we now have our Veltex spray glued down to, uh, or adhesive down to the cork board. I've put it inside the frame. And you'll see on this frame it's kind of nice because it actually comes right to the edge, but um, any kind of frame is going to work for this project. You don't have to necessarily use the same kind of frame, and you're probably not going to find this frame anywhere. Um, but just make sure that the frame you buy is going to be able to accommodate the width, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the height of the cork board if you do choose to go with the cork and the Veltex fabric, and in addition to whatever kind of cardboard backer you're, you're using for that. I definitely recommend a cardboard backer just because you'll probably have patchworked pieces of the cork board and you want something to stabilize that, not just gluing the cork board down. Um, some poster frames though, actually the backing for them would make something good to glue down on, so you might want to take that in consideration. Um, one thing I want to mention about the Veltex fabric before we end this video is that it's not like the traditional loop Velcro, like this here. Um, like the loop Velcro on this, and you commonly find on uniforms and things like that. Um, it is thinner, which hopefully you saw earlier when we were talking about it. But And because of that thinness, there is some degradation that happens with the Velcro over time. So if you have a patch like this and you continuously take a patch on and off in that same spot over and over again, you will see some wear and it might cease to stop um, hooking on you for the Velcro. So just something to keep in mind when you're working with Veltex. Um, I picked up this piece of Veltex, I think it's one yard and I think they sell it in 60 inch pieces by a yard and that one piece was enough to do this project the 32 by 42 that I needed but I think it was around 12 to 14 dollars for the Veltex material itself then I think shipping was roughly 18 bucks so I paid a little more in shipping because they shipped it on a roll a uh, little pricier to ship something like this on a roll but so those that was the cost of the Veltex um, the cork board itself I think those are sold in packs of three I think I bought three of them those were around five bucks a piece. The uh, the super the high tack seventy six spray adhesive from 3M is about eight to ten bucks a can, I believe. Um, I had that left over, so I'm not really sure how much that costs. But um, we'll get into that in the article. Um, as far as resources, 
Um, Industrialwebbing.com, I believe, is where I picked up this Veltex from, and that's the price I paid for it. Um, but we'll link to that in the article on ITS Tactical, so be sure to check there um, for some extra information on all the materials we used in this, as well as a write-up. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I believe that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, we'll make a last shot of all the patches displayed and hanging up on the wall for you. But, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out ITS Tactical for more on this, and thanks for watching. Okay, real quick, let me show the finished product here. Um, you can see that We've got all our patches stuck on there, our patch collection that we've amassed here at ITS Tactical. Also quite a few of my personal stash there. But uh, for the most part, it works out pretty well. Um, the only issue that I came across putting this thing together, and I'll attempt to show you here, is that as you take the patches on and off, um, you can see this Velchex almost separates from the cork board backing that we put on there. So that would be the only issue. Um, when you pull it off, it's not as though it you know, takes a large chunk of it with it when it comes off, but just something to pay attention to. It's, it's far from perfect, I guess, but it's a pretty cool do-it-yourself thing, if you ask me. So not just because I made it. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, and also, real quick, this can be used to put lapel pins on here, too, with the cork backing. So kind of a uh, cool multi-purpose device here to store all your, <laughs> your, uh, your tchotchkes on. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions.